<sighs> There's no way I can take all of these books with me to work. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I'm, I'm so happy to be back. I've been, you know, super busy with school and everything, but I have time today. My attention gets distracted so easily. I have time today to give you guys a video. Today, we are going to be talking about apps again, and here's why. I'm so excited. So there are going to be discounts. I have collaborated with Upper Bound Medicine, and I am going to be discussing a few apps today that can be used by nurse practitioners. And bonus, I am also going to be discussing some apps that can be used by nurses, bedside nurses or nursing students. So I'm really happy about that because sometimes I feel like I need to put out more content for nursing students and nurses. So I get to do that today or nurses that work at the bedside because nurse practitioners are nurses too. Where do I even start? Okay. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys, these books are related to the apps I'm going to talk about today. So let's start with the nurse practitioner apps. Oh, these books are heavy. When I was in NP school, my physical examination and history taking book was by Bates. And as you can see, I <laughs> label everything because I'm super organized in all parts of my life, at least I try to be. So I had everything labeled and that made it easier for me to get to it. And this little, this little pearl is just a lifesaver. As a nurse practitioner student, when I was learning health assessment, I relied on this. I always had this in my pockets when I was at clinical. So when I was in school, I had the bigger version. I have this labeled as well. And these are now in my library. I still, I still look at them. I still use them sometimes when I need refreshers. But what I'm super excited about today is that there is a Bates physical examination app. Yeah, there's an app. And all of the apps that I mentioned today, you will be able to go to the link below and the link is in the description box and you will be able to get these apps at a discounted price, 20% off. Uh, where do we start? So the Bates app basically um, covers everything. It covers every single body system, which I love. So when you're looking at the table of contents, you can see that all systems are listed. So you can go to whatever system you want. If you're having trouble with health assessment on a certain system like the abdomen or lung sounds or something like that, you can go to that system and you know it's really organized. So it's really easy to find what you're looking for. If I was in MP school or even as a nurse practitioner that's practicing, you can never have enough reminders. And sometimes we get comfortable, sometimes we get lax and might stray away. You know, we might stray away a little bit from doing things perfectly. I mean, nothing's done perfectly. But you know, when you've been doing something for a long period of time, sometimes going back to, um, Going back to the basics just can freshen up your skills again. So really important. So the Bates app is a wonderful, excellent resource for nurse practitioners and for nurse practitioner students, especially students, because guys, you know, health assessment is scary. I remember when I was preparing for health assessments and we had to actually do a health assessment in front of the instructor and it was pass or fail. Um, I was terrified 
and they're always looking at your technique. They're always, you know, looking to make sure you know what you're doing. So having this as an app is, is amazing. I wish, I wish, wish, wish I had this as an app when I was in school. All right, so next, do you guys remember when I did a video? It was like four years ago on the five minute clinical consult. This book is, this is, this book is Bay. Okay. I love this book so much. So for those of you who follow me on social media, you know that I have study areas all over my house. So in my bedroom, where I have my little study nook and I have like a low table. I have my book stacked up that I like to read. And the thing is why I got the low table, I could sit on the floor with my legs crossed and it's really comfy and cozy and I can read. This is one of the books that I have um, in my study nook in my bedroom. And it's one of the books that I love to go to when I am researching something. This is the book that I go to when I want to research a condition, when I want to know, oh, you know, I wonder what labs I should order. And the app is nothing less than amazing. This book, this book is huge, okay? And it's a great resource for me to have at home, um, but I don't wanna take this I don't wanna take that book to work because it's pretty big, or you could take it to work and you could just leave it at work. But I, I, I like to have my books at home because when I do my own studying and researching, I, I'm gonna need it. So I don't wanna travel with it. So the app comes into play. Five Minute Clinical Consult app. So the Five Minute Clinical Consult, it has, Everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. This app has ICD-9 codes, ICD-10 codes, algorithms. If you guys have followed me, you know that algorithms are my thing. I love them so much. So since we were talking about abdominal pain with Bates, let's continue with abdominal with the five minute clinical consults. So if we had a patient with upper abdominal pain, this algorithm is amazing. And it just goes from the beginning. It kind of starts with the common causes of upper abdominal pain. The most common causes, GERD, functional dyspepsia, PUD, which is pe um, peptic ulcer disease, gastritis, pancreatitis, biliary dysfunction, angina, esophageal or gastric cancer. It could be medication, it could be IBS. So I like that it starts with differentials and then it just kind of goes on down. And this is a pretty extensive um, algorithm but it's a, it's a great workup. It's a great way, you know, to have a resource if you're kind of stumped and you're kind of like, ooh, I, you know, now what? So that's what I love about algorithms. And let's see here. So aside from the algorithms, which they have tons of them, <laughs> there, they also have a section for medications which I love. So if you click on acne, you've got the algorithm and then you have cross links as well. So if you look down, you'll have links to other things like folliculitis, boils, pustules, rosacea, tinea versicolor. So there are cross links and I like that because you know, it helps you with your differentials and um, it just makes for easy access. So we've got that and then we have uh, the appendix like recommended immunization schedules, 
I really, really love the US Preventive Services Task Force recommendations and they have it by age. And primary care prevention is extremely important. I make sure I am screening my patients for breast cancer. I am screening my patients who have a history of smoking for lung cancer, especially because the, the low dose CT scan is covered by uh, insurances now, or most, I don't wanna speak for all, but most. Um, and then, you know, I make sure that the patients are getting their PAPs when they're supposed to. So prevention is everything. So having, you know, having this in the form of an app is a great resource. I have the 2016 book. So I love the fact that I have the 2020 app. So if anything's changed, then I have access to it. This five minute clinical console app is highly organized. Um, this online content provides you with differential diagnosis from an expanded collection of algorithms. And there's current evidence-based designations highlighted in each topic. 540 commonly encountered diseases in print with an additional 1,500 online topics including content from the five minute pediatric consult. So that's a bonus because I am primary care. So I see babies from a couple of days after they're born. I think the youngest infant that I've seen was about three days old. So from infancy to you know, from infants to geriatric patients, I see them all. There are CME credits also, like a half an hour credit for every digital search and a video library of procedures, treatments, and physical therapy. There's a drug database, laboratory interpretation, 3000 patient handouts in English and Spanish. Okay. Let's just process that for a moment. 3,000 patient handouts. I love to educate my patients, to empower them with knowledge about how to care for themselves. So I am the patient handout queen. And if you guys remember one of my videos from a few years ago, I actually have a little binder with patient handouts. It's labeled nicely. It's organized and I just go right in there when I need to do my handouts and sometimes I print them as well. So having this app and being able to print handouts, it's great. <laughs> I like that. I'm just gonna add a few of my favorite ones to my little handout, patient handout binder. And then you've got the ICD codes. So what I really, really love about this app is how quick it is. You know, the, the, think about the name, the five minute clinical consult. That's what I love because I have a lot of apps and sometimes you're going through all the information and it's just a lot. When you're seeing a patient and you need something quick, the five minute clinical consult just kind of cuts the crap and it gets straight to, you know, the information. So a lot of times when I need something quickly, I can look there really quick and, you know, I got it, okay, you know, and I can continue on with my day. So yeah, there is, you know, there is a, something a bit different about the five minute clinical console as compared to other apps that I have and love you know, this one is one that I can look at quickly. I can get the information really quick and then I'm, I'm done, you know, or I can move on. What's next? Oh, one more for nurse practitioners. And then we're going to start talking about the nursing apps. Okay. This app, I'm really excited about this. Oh my goodness. And I really, this one, I am going to get a lot of use from it a lot. It's the John Hopkins Antibiotic Guide. This app is amazing. It's wonderful. It's everything I need in my life. So I have already <laughs> added different antibiotics that I use often to my favorites because all of these apps that I'm talking about, you can 
lock in your favorites and I really like that. It doesn't only have to be antibiotics. I favorited syphilis because for one main reason, <laughs> let me tell you guys a quick story about this. The infectious disease physician at my place of employment is God sent. Ever since I've been a nurse practitioner, he has been supportive and he has been along with my mentor. He has been, he's always been there for me. So <laughs> every time we work together, which is once a week, he gives me the opportunity to come in the room with him and it's just us and I get to ask whatever I want. I get to present cases. I, I just, I'm so blessed. <laughs> so, and he's so intelligent, like, so the last time we talked, I didn't really have a case to present. So he presented a case and it was about syphilis. And it was about just making sure that if someone tests positive for syphilis, of course they get the penicillin shots, you know, but also making sure that you really assess these patients for neurosyphilis. So as I was highlighting my favorites in the John Hopkins antibiotic app, I also highlighted syphilis because I just want to really go through some of the symptoms patients experience when they have neurosyphilis. And I just want to completely go over syphilis again. And I'm also going to go through my five minute clinical consult app on syphilis as well. I just really want to up my game on that after speaking with um, the infectious disease physician. So that's why I have syphilis highlighted. I have penicillin highlighted because I use it a lot when children have strep throats. We use penicillin when, uh, what else? People have syphilis, you know, so we use penicillin quite a bit. And then Bactrim, you know, use that a lot for patients who have urinary tract infection and, um, there's clindamycin for skin infections. And I also highlighted bacterial vaginosis. I just wanna read over it because I see it often. And I, you know, I'm looking for just new information on it and just, you know, a high, I just want a higher level of knowledge on that. So that is definitely something that I am going to read over the next few days in the five minute clinical consult and here in my John Hopkins antibiotic app. Okay. So let's just open one up so we can see. Uh, clindamycin, I like how it starts with the indications, FDA, uh, it kind of tells you the different things you can use this antibiotic for. And then you have the different forms of clindamycin, uh, cleosin, cleosin T. Uh, so I really like that. It has what's oral, what's topical, what's IV. It has the dose and it even has the price, okay? How thorough is that? Then there's dosing for those with decreased hepatic function. Pregnancy risk is there. Breastfeeding compatibility is there as well. The reason why I love this app so much is because sometimes when you're in the middle of care and you're all flustered and you're trying to do this and you're trying to do that and oh, the patient's allergic to this, she can't take this. What's the other thing I can give? Sometimes when you're using other apps that are not designated just for antibiotics, you have to go through a lot to get to, you know. So for me, just knowing, oh, let me just go to my antibiotic app really quick. I just feel like I can get to what I need quicker. So I have a lot of apps and I know what to go to to get to what I need as fast as I can because you know, when you're seeing patients, it, you, you don't have time to read a whole research article. It's like you need the information and you need it to be right and you need it to be, you, you need it to be like precise and just kind of straight to the point because I kind of do my research at home. So I do like when there's a lot of wording and whatnot, but at the right time. So the John Hopkins antibiotic app is awesome. Some of the other things in here, notes, 
you can write notes and you can save them. And then there's medical news. So there's the, oh my gosh, guys. I was looking at this last night and I was so excited. The CDC online newsroom, yes, it has everything. All of the information, like for example, you guys have probably been hearing about the vaping causing lung injury. So it's right here, the article, and I you can read all the full stories about it. So I really like that. I like that anything that's going on that the CDC is discussing or writing about or investigating is all here. And what else? There's also the CDC HIV link that, you know, if maybe if you're a provider who treats HIV or you're a provider who has HIV patients and you're interested in this, they also have information um, specifically designated for the treatment of HIV. Then there's also links to the World Health Organization Disease Outbreak News. Hmm, measles, global situation. This was this was released November 27th, and it just talks about how many countries around the world are experiencing measles outbreaks. As of the 5th of November 2019, there have been 413,308 confirmed cases reported to the World Health Organization through official monthly reporting by 187 member states in 2019. So, and then there's a full story on that. So staying up to date, there's so much that we need to stay up to date on when we're taking care of patients. So having this information at my fingertips, yeah, I feel empowered. All of these apps are, you know, you can get these apps for 20% off the link to the 20% off with Nurse Lada is in the description box. So this is the link here. You can copy it and paste it in your browser or you can go to the description box of this video and you would uh, have access to the link to get the discount off of any of the apps we're discussing today, okay? So, so far we've discussed the five minute clinical consults. We've discussed the Bates, physical exam app, and we've discussed the John Hopkins antibiotic app. Okay, so now I'm about to talk to my nursing babies. I don't know how many times over the years I've been asked this question. How do I get past anatomy and physiology? Well, I found anatomy and physiology, advanced anatomy and physiology, a little difficult, but when I was in nursing school, which was over 20 years ago, I have always purchased books outside of the recommended, outside of the recommended books, you know, the books that were recommended by the school. And I'll never forget getting this. <laughs> I was in anatomy and physiology and I was having a hard time just really putting together the human body, especially when it came to muscles and tendons and, and the heart. I remember learning about how the blood flows through the heart. And, you know, I just needed, I'm a visual learner, so I needed visuals. And I got that when I purchased the world's best anatomical charts. I've had this since... I want to say LPN school. I don't I don't remember if it was LPN or RN. I think it was RN, but I've had this for at least at least 20. I've had this for like 20 years, guys. And now that we're in the age of applications. <laughs> You don't have to walk around at school with this big book, okay? So I have an app, discounted price, that is called the Anatomy and Physiology Made Incredibly Easy. And I believe 
I believe I purchased that book like 15 years ago and I gave, I gave it away because I did give away some of my books. But having this as an app is going to be a lifesaver for those of you who are in nursing school, for those of you who are new nurses, because having that foundation of really understanding and knowing the anatomy and physiology of the body, that is the foundation of your whole understanding of how the body works. So having this app will help you pass the class, but it'll also help you to, to really understand because you, you don't really want to study just to pass test. You really want to let the information marinate and you really want to understand it. So the anatomy and physiology made incredibly easy app. I have already created some favorites, but first let me just go to, you know, you've got your favorites, you've got your notes, you can take notes. I haven't taken any notes yet. And then there are topics. So topics for everything, literally everything. I remember learning about the immune system and white blood cells. So I love, I'm a visual learner, so I really love how they have these cute little drawings because then it starts to cement into your mind and, and I can kind of remember the cute little drawing and that kind of helps me. But um, just going down, you know, looking at, um, there's different chapters here that talk about white blood cells. A look at the uh, hematologic system, blood components, blood clotting, blood groups. There's a quick quiz and then there's just for fun. So I really like that, that it makes this, this app makes learning fun. You have the table of contents that just breaks up the human body into like the urinary system, nutrition and metabolism, the GI system, respiratory, reproductive. So that's cool. And then there's study cards. This is so cool. Then you have the quizzes, so different quizzes. So before your test at school, you can quiz yourself with your app. Uh, urinary system, you have your little practice test. Oh, that's so cute. And then you can take the test. Wow. I love that. So nursing students, new nurses, you know, especially nursing students, you, you know, this app is a lifesaver. I wish I had it when I was in nursing school. I would have purchased it just with the quickness because you have everything in your phone. And I especially like, like if I'm out and there's some downtime, like I might be in the grocery store and the line is really long. Well, I'm not complaining because I'm all into my phone studying or looking at flashcards or something like that. So having this at your fingertips to me is the really, really, really great thing about technology today. Because 20 years ago when I was in the nursing program, we didn't have apps. And so I'm crazy about them now because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have everything at my fingertips. It's and we're gonna talk about the last app. <sighs> this app has made me so excited that I saved it for last. My favorite, favorite, favorite for nursing students and for practicing nurses. Like, listen to me, you have to have this app. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh! Guys, this app is everything and the title is so appropriate. So it's called Nursing Central, okay? I had no idea about this app, now you guys do. All right, so where do we start? <laughs> where do we start? <laughs> So there's favorites. I didn't save any favorites yet because I was all into the videos. Okay, let me tell you guys. Ugh. So there's calculators. Okay, so 
you have calculators to calculate everything, okay? BMIs, um, there are IV drip infusion time calculators. You can just put in the volume to infuse the drip rate and the drip factor and calculate it. Uh, there's the IV pump infusion time. There's IV injection doses. So you're trying to understand how much you're gonna um, give for an IV dose. And then there's also IV drip rates. When I was in nursing school and when I worked on the floor as a nurse, which was literally five years ago, because I've been an MP for five years. So five years ago, I worked on a spinal cord injury rehab unit and I was hanging IVs, I was doing drip rates. I didn't know about this app. I didn't know that there were apps that could help you calculate drip rates. I think it will be very, very helpful for those of you who are in school too, because you know, pharmacology can be a bit stressful. So having this at your fingertips, I doubt that you can use it for a test, but having it so that you can give yourself fake dosage and calculation problems, or if you can, you know, you can check your problems and see if they're right. So we have that. And then we also have conversion calculators. We have dosage calculators. So like PO dosage for liquids. And you also have the PO dosage, um, oh, for tablets as well. So yes, you do have to learn how to calculate this stuff on your own by hand. I'm able to calculate by hand. But even having this app, I can do my calculation by hand. And then I, you know, if I feel unsure about it, I can check it to make sure it's right. So that's, you know, that's, that's one for the team. And then let's see, aside from the calculators, there's a whole section on Davis's drug guide. Guys, I have Davis's drug guide. Okay. Um, from 20 years ago. And just all the entries are there, uh, all of the different drugs. And as a nurse, knowing the side effects of these drugs and just being able to spot things, you know, is super important. You could save somebody's life by having this knowledge. So in addition to Davis's drug guide, there's the Tabor's Medical Dictionary. My Tabers, <laughs> look, there's my name. Well, my name used to be Velez. Um, and then RN and look, I had put my little name in here. I love my Tabers, I still have it. I've had this book literally for about 15 years. Okay, so having Tabers in the form of an app is just, I'm trying to process this. So here's what I love about this Tabers app. Okay. I, when I saw this, I was just like, O-M-G. They have videos. So those of you who are in school and you're all nervous about doing a catheter, you're all nervous about doing, well, a catheter on a man or a woman, there's a video for that. What else? Let's let's see. They have so they have the external condom catheter. Uh, oh, last night I looked at a video about changing an ostomy uh, bag. So the ostomy appliance. There's even a video for applying eye drops. How do you apply an eye drop? There's a video for that. There are. Uh, videos for applying ear medications. There are videos for checking pulses, apical, carotid, dorsalis pedis, femoral, popliteal, radial. There's a video for each one of those. Range of motion, there are videos. There are videos for donning sterile gloves. I remember when that was a huge thing for me when I was a nursing student and as a nurse, making sure that you're donning your gloves correctly. I just remember when I was a new nurse and you know, just being fresh out of school, 
doing these things like changing colostomy bags and even changing IV dressings when you're new can be scary and stressful. So having an app that has a video on how to do these things is literally priceless. So in addition to the tabers, cause I could go on and on and on about these videos guys, obviously. There's also Davis's lab and diagnostic test. So with this, you know, you just have more information about diagnostic test, which is great. You need to know this stuff because you're taking care of patients who are going down for tests and labs and you need to understand how to prep the patient. You need to understand what to do for the patient when they get back. So having that information is important as well. And then there's information about diseases and disorders, which you need to know, especially if you're a student. So having that at your fingertips, priceless. Having all through, no, 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 no. Having all of these books in <laughs> one app is just freaking priceless. Like, I just cannot wrap my mind around it. I love it. And you will too. And you know, this, this app is going to have you guys shining in clinical. Shining, 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 shining. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Every app that I discussed is available at the link that's in the description box. Or you can copy and paste. Or this is the... Um, web address and you can just go here you can copy and paste or whatever and go there i hope you guys have a happy holiday and merry christmas love you guys until next time <laughs>